You're watching Good Day Central Illinois on WYZZ. <laughs> All right, we saw those warmer spring weather temperatures. So that means animal and plant life is waking up and there's no better place in Peoria to see that happen than Wildlife Prairie Park. So Brant Brumble is here with a, a new friend for me <laughs> and kind of talk about a um, what he is, what kind of you know frog he is and that he's actually not uncomfortable sitting like this. Sure. Folks. This is, is enjoyable for him. <laughs> well, good morning. Uh, so this morning I have our, our bullfrog. This is our ambassador, one of our ambassador amphibians that we have in our education department at the park. Um, we were just talking about before we went on air how uncomfortable it looks when you hold them like this. Um, but this is actually the, the way you have the most control over the frog. Basically, it stops them from being able to kick off of your fingers and your hands to jump away from you. Um, yeah. The reason I have uh, Bucky with me today is because frogs, um, just kind of in, in you know spirit of Earth Day this week, uh, frogs are one of our uh, species that we refer to as an indicator species. So because they have um, really sensitive skin, uh, they are some of the animals that are most sensitive to pollutants in their environment. And really? so if wow. your frogs disappear first, um, or if your frogs disappear, that's like kind of an indication that maybe your so, environment's kind of Something's not locked. going right. Yep. So it's so cool. He has those like special powers he doesn't yeah, even know about. Bit. How does he do in the winter or, you know, being the kind of creature he is and what is it like for him now to feel some spring? Yeah, so um, frogs are uh, cold-blooded animals or ectotherms. Um, and so these are animals that instead of uh, burning the kind of calories that they eat to um, change their body temperature, they instead uh, find heat or a, a cool place to lay down and cool off um, in the wild. And so uh, during the winter time, they, they hunker down and kind of their metabolism shuts off for most of the season. Um, and in the spring, they're waking back up again. So. Now, I love that you're able to educate us on all these things. Yeah. And you guys have a new uh, naturalist kind of program that will kind of help people like me who aren't as exposed to animals sure. kind of learn about that. Yeah, so we are starting up um, a new series where we're going to be kind of doing some more um, in the actual environment education at the parks. So we're doing our Hike with a Naturalist program. Um, our first one is going to be on Earth Day this year, so it'll be on uh, Saturday the 22nd. Um, and then from uh, then on for the rest of the summer, it's going to be the last Saturday of each month. Um, and so that'll be led by one of our education staff each and of those days. And covering various animals yeah. uh, at the park, because you yeah. guys have quite a few. <laughs> yeah, so this will actually be kind of like, uh, the park is like 2,000 acres. And so we have our collection that is in like on display um, and we take care of, but we also have all of the land at the park that has the wild animals too. And so we're, this is like walking through the, the animal trails to talk about the nature around us and not necessarily our, uh, our animals in our collection. Right, and the best holiday after Flag Day <laughs> is Earth Day. Sure. And so that's coming up. Mm -hmm. What are we gonna be doing to kind of celebrate, get us back to our roots, back into nature? Yep, so we, we, uh, we always have our wolf chats on at one o'clock on Saturdays. Um, since we've gotten them, they've been really popular, and yeah. so we uh, take opportunities to show them off. And then we're actually offering two additional uh, animal programs on Earth Day as well. So um, it'll be 10 o'clock and I believe 2 o'clock um, on the bricks for And you guys programs. have new wolves. Yes, we do. So yeah. that'll be fun, yeah. too, to kind of get to see them, get to know yeah. them, because they weren't here last spring. Correct. Yeah, so they're all new this year. Um, we've got four wolves, August, uh, Cypress, Sumac, and Luna. So There's <laughs> always something to do at at Wally Prairie Park. You could spend days there, obviously, and you can. You could spend the night there as well. Of course, the train is back up and running. Tickets, $6. So make sure if you need any information about Wally Prairie Park and the events coming up, head to our website, ciproud.com. We have all the information there that you'll need. 